how do I know this is the lion effect? It's a sign like that, right? Okay, it's good for Minnesota. It's a sign. Sign, I did a sign. So it's late to know the curse will identify children of Israel who they are today. Watch the curse. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Watch this, bro. Read. Verse 68, and the Lord shall bring into Egypt again with shapes. Right there, because word you have means behind it. Right? Because when I say Egypt, what do you think of? That land that's in Africa, North Africa, right? With pyramids and minerals and things like that, right? But back in the day, that land was not called Egypt. It was called his Irene, the man of Ham, the man Things like that, right? The word Egypt had been being behind. Now, you said, why did it happen? Why did it get turned upside down, right? Let me get Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Watch this. Wayne, why, why ain't it like that? Why ain't we all possessing them? For servants and for handmaids, stay that was the initial question that Tay had. How did it get turned upside down? Why did it get turned upside down? Watch this, Tay. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So this is Deuteronomy. Moses is speaking to who, Tay? These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who are you speaking to? Israel. Right. Yeah, we're Israel. You're absolutely right. So watch this, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. So you know Deuteronomy is written to Israel, written to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Why did it get turned upside down? Watch this read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. It shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It said, if you will not hearken, hearken means listen with their intent to do it. You're, you're, you're doing, you're listening so you can do it. Right? Right. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So if you will not do God's commandments and statutes, which he command you, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake you. He said curses will come upon you and overtake you. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Right? Watch this, Ted. Go to verse four, uh, 46. Verse 46. Verse 46. I, I'm, I'm, I'm building that up. I'm building it up. Watch this. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Talking about the curses. The curses will be upon the children of Israel for a sign and for a wonder. How do I know this is the lion's back? It's a sign right there, right? Tell you, Fifth of Minnesota, because the sign, signs identify something. That's right. So it's letting you know the curses will identify the children of Israel, who they are today. Watch the curse. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Bring it up. Watch this, bro. Read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Let me get what Egypt means. Right, say because words have meaning behind them. Right? Because when I say Egypt, what do you think of? That land that's in Africa, Northeast Africa, right? With pyramids and, and, and pharaohs and things like that, right? But back in the day, that, that land was not called Egypt. It was called Mizarim, the land of Ham, the land of Cush, things like that, right? The word Egypt has a meaning behind it. Watch the meaning of the word Egypt. Now I'm going to listen up because I'm going to ask you a question. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What did this call Egypt? House of bondage. Brother Tay, if you're bound, if you're shackled, what are you? You're a damn slave. You're money. Own the money. Own the money. Oh, you're a